Fit. How are you doing, guys? So happy you guys followed me here this week with this seven day challenge workout again. I'm sure many of you did the workouts. I seen some likes, I seen some views, and I seen some comments. So thank you so much. You guys rocked it. And uh, hey, if you feel like, oh, I didn't even start it, well, then here we go. There's a brand new week coming your way. What about Monday is your day? Now, today is day six. It's Saturday here, so hopefully you have good plans for today. But I told you earlier in the week that I was gonna have a surprise for you for day seven on Sunday. And yes, the surprise is that I'm gonna give you guys a live class tomorrow. Yes, you can be right there live with me at 10.45 a.m. Pacific time. And this is going to be August 30th, a beautiful Sunday morning. Please join me, I would love to see you. I'm going to be streaming it live here on YouTube and I will also stream it live on Instagram. So go ahead and check my links below. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, I would love to see you there as well. And before we move forward with our workout today, I will ask you one more time. Share this channel with somebody you know needs fitness in their lives. Whether you share it through your social media and then everybody will see it, or find somebody specific that you can direct message them about it. Tell them to subscribe and check out some of my workouts. There is low intensity workouts, there is intensity workouts, there is 20 minute workouts, 30 minute workouts. So many choices that you can give people to get their fitness journey started or continue if they are already a fitness um, enthusiast. So make sure that you share with somebody. What about today? Why am I sitting on the floor here barefoot again? Well, we're gonna wrap up our uh, sixth day here with some stretches. And this is super important every time you work out. Today, I'm going to have my stretches based a bit into yoga, so they have names. And I'm not gonna go into specific um, philosophy of yoga here. I'm just gonna do the moves, and it takes a lot of breathing and flow from one move to the other. Okay, so let's get going. I have 30 seconds here to just get us started into our first move. All right, first thing I like to lean down on the floor, belly down. All right, now bring your hands right here, point your toes, and take a deep breath. <sighs> and calm it all out. Now, with this in mind, extend your arms forward, bring your eye gaze down, close your eyes a bit, and just turn your head from side to side. Well done. Now, bring your eye gaze slightly forward, your toes are pointed and bring your arms open wide. Now with your pinky on the floor, lift your chest and release. Then lift a little higher and release. When you do that, you're pressing the toes down, you're pressing the thighs down. And then ultimately, open up your arms and try without supporting yourself on the floor. That's a bit harder feeling it magnificently in the lower back and time very good now put the hands on the side of your body make sure that your thighs and your toes are steady on the floor from here take a deep breath in and lift part of your chest so support yourself here and breathe through it already in yoga we call the next move the cobra. Lift your chest off the floor. So your thighs are still on the floor. And then look up and you feel your back bending. And if you want to go a step further, we go towards the upwards facing dog where you press the feet on the floor and lift the thighs off the floor. And that's a bit more intense on your lower back. Breathe through it and release bring your hands down and quickly come into a child's pose that gives good release on the lower back doesn't it well done okay come back into your cobra here chest forward now tuck your toes in make them a little wider than they were before lift your knees hips up and now draw your head between your elbows now 
If you're an advanced person into stretching, you can come and bring your heels down. If that's too much, bend the knees. If that's very overwhelming, come here. So I was a little bit backwards here from advanced to modified. And let's enjoy. This one is called the downwards facing dog. And release. Good job. All right. Now, come towards your knees. And hey, bring your left knee forward and your right knee is back and sit with both hands on the floor. Maintain this knee bent and push your chest up. So this is called or the swan pose or the pigeon. Wanna make it a bit advanced, extend that back leg, rotate your hip and square your chest to the front and hold. There we go. Breathe through it. Nice. And release. Good. Now, turn towards the front. Bring your right leg forward. Bend your left leg still. And try to bring the heel close to you. Okay. Take a deep breath. This is a single leg, bent forward, head to knee. All right, now, head to knee doesn't mean you have to touch, but you want to get closer. So bring your hands towards your ankles. If you can, find your hands on the soles of your feet. If not, hold on right here. And drop your head as close as you can towards your knee and leave it there. So you are really staring at your knee right now. Leg is very straight. Good. Release. Now, listen up here. Support yourself on your left side. Extend your left leg and keep your right leg bent. From here, right leg supports you on the floor. Left hand supports you on the floor as you lift. This is called the wild thing. And if this is enough, stay here. If you wanna go really wild thing, we come up and up and we tuck the booty in. <laughs> yes, and we let the arm go and the head go. And stay. If that is too overwhelming, then come right here. Wonderful, okay. These last three moves are gonna retake now all on the other side. Let's go back to swan and pigeon, or pigeon, either or. I have heard these poses called with both names, okay? Knee bend is a lot softer. Press the floor down and look up, nice and proud. Alrighty, go a bit further by extending the back leg, pointing the toes and push the floor away from you. Look up and you feel that beautiful stretch on your lower back and the inner thigh here as well. There we go. And breathe through it calmly. Well done. Good. Come back to seated. Look forward. This time extend the left leg forward and tuck in the right foot. Press the heel into the thigh. Okay. Let's go, head to knee, single leg bend forward. Okay, what's easier for you? Hold on on your calf, that's good, on your ankle. Can you go further? Find the soles of your foot. And just let your head drop. Yeah, this is a huge extension of your hamstring. So if that is too painful, yes, you could always bend the knee a little bit. We don't wanna be in pain. We want to feel the stretch, but we don't want to feel like absolutely miserable. That is not the point. Well done. Okay, let's go for the wild thing. And that's our last move here for today. Extend. Oh, forgive me. Wrong way. Extend the, the right leg. Left leg is back. Support with the right. Support with the left. Lift the hip. And then your arm, and let it all go. And 
stay as long as you can. You can always come down here if that's a bit overwhelming, especially on the standing arm. And open up big. Good job. And time. Well done. Good one. How you like that? Great. Okay, see? Didn't take that long. That was almost eight minutes. Yes. So um, ideally, if you could, always bump up your stretching time between um, five and ten minutes right there. That would be perfect. But sometimes I know we are time constrained and um, things need to move forward with our day. So at least two minutes, at least two or three moves into your stretching will be very beneficial. Alrighty. Thank you so much guys for supporting me here on YouTube. Continue sharing this channel with people that you know need fitness in their lives. Uh, be yourself a positive encourager. And uh, yes, if you feel like I am off the wagon here completely for I don't know how long, don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up over it. Just hop back on and let's start again. So thank you so much for watching. Keep um, following me here on YouTube. Let's work on our fitness a day at a time. And I'll see you tomorrow for a live class. Again, 10.30, uh, forgive me, 10.45 um, a.m. Pacific time. Okay, see you soon.